Sheesh, it's been a minute here on the channel. What is going on, guys? It is your boy TKD123 here back in the video, and today we're going to go over a new PlayStation 4 former update that will detail after this intro. And so first up here, it was a few weeks ago that PlayStation let uh, that special group of people that made it test new software for the PlayStation hardware and stuff like that. Uh, they were able to download 6.50 to beta test it. And it was only said that there wasn't anything major. So a lot of people were assuming that, okay, that means that there is not going to be any of the name changes quite yet. I'm assuming maybe in the update 7.0 is when we're going to get those name changes, hopefully. But, uh, you know, right now there's no name changes. So they said no major consumer facing features. However, they did unveil this other update that we will talk about here in the second half of this video. But to just list up a few things that were also in this update that you can download right now. It went live right now this morning, I believe it did. Uh, you can now stream to Nikio, Nikio, Nikio. Uh, and users can output the 720p. I don't know why you would 720p, but you know, you can do that if you want to. Uh, and there's also going to be that swap functionality. So I know we talked about this, I believe, on save slot one week, where uh, with this update you can now flip the x and the o button because in some countries the o means uh to enter and to choose something while x means the back which definitely makes a lot more sense but uh, over here in the states obviously it's flipped and so now in those other countries you can flip that and uh, all your games i believe or at least once in settings will be able to change with that and it's only available in those specific countries not everywhere so uh if you are in one of those countries you can uh flip the x and the o to your liking and that is just about it the update is only 460 megabytes so not even that big of a deal now we are going to go to the second half of the video where we go over the remote play for the iPhone and I know I said it was for iPhone and everything but right now I'm on my iPhone right now and uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you guys the app here on the app store if I can pull it up real quick because uh, I already have it downloaded but I think you just you know search PlayStation remote play and we should be able to get it uh, let's see well let me just go to the PlayStation app and then I can go to the app page and find it a lot quicker so let's go to PlayStation mobile and it's right here up top so PS4 mobile I mean sorry PS4 remote play they have uh, given us functionality to remote play so now this will what it'd be able to look like and uh, yeah we're gonna go check it out here real quick so let's open this app real quick and uh, what it's gonna do, use this device to enjoy a piece of work. Okay, cool, yeah, start. So now that we're in the pairing process, so as long as your PS4 is connected to your same internet connection, you will be able to do this. And so I'm gonna go on my PS4 right now, and we're gonna go over to settings, because this, this is how you wanna do it. You'll go settings, and then go to, it should say remote play connection settings, there we go, deal. And there's also a neat feature on PS4 that I didn't even know until right now, where if you already have a PS Vita, uh, it'll be able to, you know, just connect seamlessly without doing anything crazy. Same with the PlayStation TV. So, you know, with my Vita, I'm all good. So just connect that, it's all good. But uh, with the iPhone, it is gonna take a little bit of time to actually register and find one, but I think we can speed it up by adding a device, I believe. And I think we can just register manually on the bottom and that might be an easier way to do it, I believe. So let's just register manually. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so this is this is a lot easier because uh, then you could just put in this code 4887-0387. And this will be a uh, a different code for everyone. Like it's not just this code, it's for every different console. It's a different code. So I should be able to register and it should be okay as soon as, okay, yeah, we have something happening on PS4. And uh, we're going to load up a game of Fortnite or something like that. We're going to see how it goes. So Kevin Diaz is now connected to Rope. Okay, that's cool. Oh, boom. Okay, we're in. Now, hopefully, my screen cap will still be able to capture this. Touch here to operate the analog stick. Yep. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, so right now we are on. We are on. Oh, this is weird to not have touch screen. It's like, ah, uh, this is... Okay, th this this could be useful if you have a very good internet connection, and mine is very good, but I'm seeing a bit of lag as of right now, but we're gonna try and load, uh, let's, let's just load Fortnite, why not? I know there's already Fortnite on mobile, but that's what I had open at the moment, so, let's see, yeah, these, yeah, I am seeing a little bit of lag here in the menus, um, so I'm assuming this won't be the best, I can't even press, oh, there you go, there we go, there we go, did I press it? Did I press it? I don't even know. I hope I did. Okay, okay, I did. Okay, deal. <laughs> yeah, it is taking a little bit, but once I get into a game, I will, uh, I'll see how this really goes. Oh, I'm getting some different, yeah, it looks like there's some pixelation on the screen for sure. I'm getting an error message already. Um, it's kind of weird because I'm on the same network as my PS4, you know, 
and I do have a strong internet and it's 10 a.m. right now so not many people are using it at my apartment I believe I got disconnected I believe I just got this I think I did I'm not sure but I may and it looks like there's a mic toggle if I want to use the mic for voice chat that's that's really pretty cool I know they have that and a big flaw which I'm sure you all already know Oh, I got I got this disconnected from from remote play. I got disconnected, but uh, a a big flaw as well that a lot of people on Twitter were talking about is that as of right now there is no DualShock 4 support. So that is a big sore for it right now. But let's see if we can try here. Let me let me try to close the app, and I'll go back into it. So where is it? I'll try and reconnect, and let's see how that goes on a reconnect. So on a reconnect right now. Let's see how this would go. Do I need to do anything crazy now that my PS4, my PS4 has already been registered? Because this is my first time trying it too. I just want to try it for you guys on video. I just want to see how it, how it would work, how it would go down. But um, let's see. Uh, I think it. Ah, uh, shout out to my girlfriend. Shout out to my girlfriend. But um, I think it should just. Interesting. So you do have a connection history. That's that's interesting. But I'm pretty sure it should just. Because the device has been added, you know? And I don't have the ability to register another device manually. So, in theory, it should be just on my account. But, looks like it's not uh, pairing up right now. And honestly, uh, a big thing that I hope that comes to this is that the, the uh, DualShock 4 support. Because that's a very big deal. I know a lot of people, um, you know, I've been looking into getting a little DualShock 4 to do remote play on my Mac. Or remote play um, on my phone now I guess um, you know with the with the introduction of remote oh looks like an error has occurred interesting okay looks like it's a little finicky and wonky uh, but yeah I guess this is your first hand you know view at how remote play would go down I'm just I'm just gonna stop trying uh, I want to try one more time I just I just want to get it because like it did work you all saw it, people like it like it did work it just wasn't working as good on my connection and my PS4 is wired and I assume that you know that would be the best terms of connecting your PS4 via remote play is that my PS4 is hardwired and is on Ethernet to my internet so not really sure how that thing is but uh yeah I guess it's you know obviously it will get updated i'm assuming that it will probably get better over the updates but i guess technically right now it is possible for you i'm just gonna stop this uh recording so uh it is possible to be able to play your ps4 on your ios device or android device i believe it's android device too is it android device let me yes yes wait no no only on ios right now so it's only on ios it's not android yet but uh it will be on i well it is on ios right now so if you are interested in that feel free to download that app on the app store you'll be able to play your PlayStation games on the go on your phone thank you for watching and if you all enjoyed this quick update and this quick little live com of the new software update 6.5 make sure to leave a like on the video as well stay subscribed to playstation source to keep up with the latest and grace in playstation and make sure to also check out our description down below where you can find our twitch and twitter down below as well as our discord make sure to join join that join discord we're all popping off in there having a lot of good stuff in there a lot of good conversation check out our discord our twitch on twitter down below in the description thank you for watching and as always greatness awaits